Let's start with an example and we'll take Pandora songs. Um, you've seen diagrams like this before, but let me, um, let me go over it quickly. There are three types of information in this model, in this, uh, in this information model. The song, the recording, and the artist. And if you spend a little time looking around in here, I'm sure this will be pretty obvious to you, even if the, even if the mechanics of, of information modeling are strange to you, this diagram should be really, really relatively straightforward. We have a song. A song is on in one recording, and a certain artist performs that song, right? All makes sense. The artist has an ID, the artist has a name, etc., etc. The song has an ID, the song has a name, the song has a, uh, the song has a, uh, lyrics to it, and the recording has different pieces of information, different attributes about it as well. So just looking at this, even if you had never seen anything in this class, I think you could make sense of this diagram. And that's the idea of the information model. You could make sense of it without a whole lot of technology behind you because it's not about technology. It's about the structure of the information. And as you move, if you move further and further into information, um, into the ideas of information modeling, you'll see that this is a wonderful tool for communicating with people who are not deep into the tools of information modeling. Okay, so we have this uh, idea of Pandora, and Pandora has songs and artists and recording, and they're related to each other in this way. The big blues are the information items, the oranges are, um, are attributes, and notice there are, a there are arrows between the entities, between the, um, uh, the different information types that specify how are those information types related. So how does information move from a model to the database? Right? We said it goes from the information model into the database. Well, there are analysts, and the analysts are responsible for creating the information model. The information model is passed from analysts to database architects. Now, that could be the same people, but it's different functions. The analyst really understands what kinds of information we need to manage in this system, doesn't necessarily understand how to put all that information in the database. The database architect understands very, very well how to put information into the database, but may or may not know what kind of information do we need to have in the database. So the analyst is responsible for getting the information model. The analyst passes off that model, which is now nicely, you know, nicely organized and well specified to the data architect who figures out what the tables should be in order to best represent that. And then those tables are created in the database, and then the tables in the database are what's used by the system in order to make um, this cycle go round from database to user interface to database to user interface.